All right, so this is a cold peach soup, just because it's so hot here in the summer. But is it gluten-free? We're here at Victory Sandwiches, where through the back, they've got a secret tiki bar. So secret, we're speaking about it on TV. Mm, so it's not that secret. But I've heard there's some amazing illegal pop-up chefs back there doing some fantastic things with peaches. I wonder if they'll let us taste the special four-course peach tasting menu. No kitchen, no problem for Chef Jared Steber. Nicknamed the Prince of Pop-Up, he's known for providing fine food without the price tag or the pretense, or as he likes to call it, Michelin Tire Dining. He's brought in a couple of fellow chefs to help figure out the best way to get peaches into this beer. And you guys are all pop-up chefs? Yeah. Yep, exactly. Right. And so my pop-up, Eat Me, Speak Me, shares the space with the tiki bars. You want my food, you have their drinks. You want their drinks, you have my food. So we're here to make a beer. We're making an IPA. We want to put peaches in the IPA, but hopefully you guys can help us figure out the best way to cook those peaches or do something with those peaches to pair with this beer. Cool. And this yeah. is going to be an illicit beer, and we heard that, Jarrett, that you might be one of the best chefs in the whole of Atlanta. Maybe you could rustle something up. Sounds good to me. Let's see it. Let's go, peaches. It only makes sense that we should wait until Jarrett gets back. <laughs> okay, let's go double jeopardy. All right. Start with 10 and a half percent double IPA. Why not? There you go. It's a Monday. So what do you think of the Georgia beer scene? Insane. It's uh, blowing up. I it mean, really has. It wasn't too long ago, there was one brewery in the city. And then all of a sudden, you turn around, and there's this one, and this one, and this one. And wait, there's more. Yeah. The thing is, the quality is really right. there. It's not this big kind of homogenous glop of everybody making similar beers. They all seem to have their own identity and have found their own niche. All right, so this is a cold peach soup, just because it's so hot here in the summer. But is it gluten-free? It is gluten-free, <laughs> vegan, dairy-free. It checks all the boxes without trying to, so it actually tastes good, hopefully. <laughs> oh, let's, uh, let's taste it. When you mentioned peach soup, I thought it would be kind of quite sweet, quite juicy, but it manages to be like really savory and earthy, and at the same time, really showcase the kind of bright, fruity hit of peach as well. Yeah, it's a super savory dish. You've got the leek coming through there, you've got the saltiness, and then you get a little hint of the peach coming through underneath. Right. It's really incredible. Thanks, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Cheers. 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 Yeah, it's really interesting, but you know, I want something that really speaks pure peach. Right. Let's maybe see what's coming up next. Yeah, you got it. Chicken wings? Yes. Thank you. I would literally yes. eat wings the rest of my life. These don't look like normal chicken wings. Mm -mm. These look incredible. These probably look a little different. We got the eggplant, the peaches, the potatoes, a bunch of herbs to kind of brighten it up, and the kimchi paste that's the sauce component for it. We get the whole chickens in, butcher them ourselves, so you get the flat plus the tip. Drum it, it's a little more meat. So the only bad thing about this dish is the fact there was only two chicken wings, which I've now reduced to mere bones. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the beauty of fine dining. So you, you don't pay for what you get, you pay for what you don't get. That's the secret. <laughs> I won't tell you. So this dish is good, we've got peaches in it, but I'm not sure if chicken wings is going to go too well in the beer. <laughs> What's next up? We're going to do a flan, traditional old school dessert, sort of an egg custard with caramel sauce that comes with it. I was thinking that darker caramel sweetness would work with the honey saccharin side of the peaches. And then we'll marinate them with some bourbon. So if there's bourbon in this dessert, how about we take the peachiness up another level? We will see if we can make shot glasses for a bourbon out of peaches. We can no, pair the two together. I love Sounds it. good. I'm all about it. While the guys carve out their custom peach shot glasses, Jarrett heads back to the kitchen to create the third and final dish. Look at those. What's going on here? This is fancy. It looks like you know what you're doing. This really, really hits that sweet spot nicely. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a big sugar bomb, and it's a great showcase of what the peaches do naturally. I think we've found our peach. I mean, this peach flambe and bourbon, I think, would be perfect in beer. I think so, too. Just amps up the intensity of the peach that's in this with the bourbon in there. This is delicious. And sort of the bitterness from the Benet seed we replicated with the hops going in the beer. Oh, yeah. And bourbon just makes everything, including life, better. That's a good Agreed. point. Agreed. Agreed. If you could hook us up with some of these peaches to put in our beer, that would be amazing. Yeah, I think I can do that. Done. Done. Cheers. 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 Perfect. Oh. That'll do. This should totally be a thing. 
if only this table were a sink, we'd be in a little bit of a It's a bit sloppy, it's a bit messy, but it's delicious. That's part of it. So are the best things in life. Exactly. <laughs>